What I want to do now is just sort of give you a bit of a roundup. There we go. And we've had to put on one of these adjustable 45 to get it through the roof. Get it up to temperature and then give it a flush through. Completely flush the system. Let's have a look. I don't think there's going to be much in it, to be fair. When I first started this job, three months ago, I think it was. Right, what we've got is... Take you for a walk around and show you exactly um, where we're at. Right, so we're coming to very, very near the end of this house renovation job. So um, what I've got now, it, the house is basically in a state of heating's on, hot water's on, from, from a plumbing point of view, heating's on, hot water's on, bathrooms are in, one's completely working, I've just got a silicon around the bath today. The other one, we're waiting for the shower screen to be cut down ever so slightly, but I think that's a two week turnaround on that. Um, but they're basically moving in where are we today? This will be Sunday. So they're basically moving in tomorrow, uh, Monday. So the house is in a livable state. They're going to be sort of in the top half of the house um, just while other little bits are finished off. But I'm at a point now where I'm pulling off the job, but I'll drop back to do things like the shower screen when that comes in, um, connect up um, the downstairs basement. All the pipe works in, um, but the chippy couldn't get the units in. Um, as of it's Thursday, I'm filming this Thursday now. Chippy doesn't think he's going to be able to get the, the units in in the basement in time. So again, that would just be a case of dropping back. But what I want to do now is just sort of give you a bit of a roundup. I'll take you take you around. I'll, sh I'll show you um, a couple of little jobs that I've got to do um, in the next day or so. But then come sort of the like tail end of the video, I'll give you a roundup of what it was like, the process we've gone through from the whole of the build um, and some shots of the house as it sort of stands now um, but I'm just conscious of I don't want to film in there when the house is starting to become someone's home so at the minute <clears throat> it's still a building site if you like um, so we'll get some little jobs done and and then we'll um, I'll sort of try and give you a bit of a walk around of the house as it is now because I know a lot of you have been following the process of the house and are interested and enjoyed it really so I've really enjoyed it actually it's stressed me out it's probably been one of the most stressful jobs I've done for a good few years only because of the time span uh getting the, the, the different trades started to come in before i got water into the property and stuff like that but um as people will know being plumbers you want to get the water on and tested before majority of decorating and stuff like that gets done but anyway right we'll get in there now i get some bits done and i'll uh i'll speak to you shortly right this basin all we got to do is connect this trap, where are we? Let me see if we can get under there. Onto there, and then onto that waste pipe at the back. But we've got to try and keep it right tucked to the back of the unit because, as you can probably see, we've got drawers that we want to get in there. So we'll uh, get that cut into the back and see if we can get it right close to the back of the, the unit. Right, managed to get that just about in the best we can because there's various little beams underneath that we've had to sort of work around. So that's in, so we let that go off, we can test that basin. There we go. It's always nice when the water goes on. Perfect. Really works well, this brass. What we'll do now, we'll get all this taken off, take this off. Hopefully the sparkers can get some lights on. Um, and we'll clean up around the bath, get that sealed in, siliconed in. So that's working, the baths are working, toilet's now on. Um, just give it a good wipe down really and get it siliconed off and sealed off. partially filled up and uh, got the silicone in done around it. Probably, probably 
profiles of the walls as well. Right, up on the scaffold now. Um, got all, loaded all my stuff out. Of course, you get all there. I forgot the bloody level, so I had to go back down and get the level. Um, we've got the saw pipes to carry on with, so we're going to bring the saw pipes up where they are at the moment. Um, they're picking up the bathroom, and I think we've got to connect a basin into them and then take it up through the gable end, sort of like the eaves, through the roof, um, and get it all into position there. So we'll get around and have a look. So here we are, round here. So we've got to just put it into place. We've got this bit to go in. This bit to go in, got to connect that in. We'll boss that into the side, then that's going to go all the way up. And then up through. Uh, boys are up here anyway. So we've managed to get the waste pipe for basin in there. This saw stack's coming up right to the top of the building, and we've had to put on. One of these adjustable 45s to get it through the roof because it's going up up there so that's the only way we could get that to go through the original hole of the roof sometimes needs must and all that right so this has been on now for about two days um running the eating up again i'm just going to give it a last blast through now and then get it flushed out and then get the uh, protector into it. So at the minute, we're just gonna run it up to temperature, much disgust to the painters because they're absolutely boiling. Um, and uh, get it up to temperature and then give it a flush through, completely flush the system, refill it and pop the inhibitor in and then complete and then shut it down uh, and completely um, seal it up and away we go. Right, so that's that flush through. Um, what we'll do now, I've just turned the boiler off, or turn the heating off, so we just let that the heat dissipate out of that. Then we can shut this off, shut that off, take this off, pop the magna clean back on and put the inhibitor in it. And then we can have a look in here and see see if, if any uh, crops come out of the system, which to be honest, I don't think they will have done. So we'll have a look. Right, so that's the Magna Cleanse taken off the system. Let's have a look. I don't think there's going to be much in it, to be fair. Yeah, no. That's just like the filings and, and that that you get out the rads. So that's been on for two two days now with a cleaning agent in it. So, yeah, perfect. Spot on. I'm pleased with that. So we get this packed away now. That's all on, running up to temperature. So these are the sort of things we've got to tidy up now. We've got to just stick an elbow off that, in, cut a hole into the, uh, the gully, just poke it in there. That's the uh, condenser in the boiler. There we go, sorted. Another little job off the list. jobs now look oh, nice green bathroom um yeah we're getting through these jobs we've got this basin to go on here now we've got the glass um top that's got to go on to here um and then connect underneath connect the basin underneath there uh taps going in this corner and it's that that round bowl going on the top there so we'll get the water turned off get these off get some isolation valves on and uh and get this one set
that will do. That's in. We can tighten it up in a minute when we get the bowl in, just so we can get that exactly central to, to where we want it. Okay, so what we've got is the tails there. Um, we'll come off here with isolation valves and then they can go straight in. Well, we'll probably come up and bend across. So it's going to get the water off. There we go, hot and cold's in, connected outside. Then we've just got to bring the waste, get the bowl on, bring that waste out. We can move that to suit. Quite handy, isn't it? Okay, that's the waste sorted. So we've connected on the bottom there, up round, and we've managed to just cut a little bit out of this unit for this little divider thing. Which is quite good. So that's that connected. We'll let that go off and give it a test in a bit. Look at this. Look. Celebrate three days grills at the end of the job. Burning them, Dave. Burning. <laughs> Right then, we're getting to the point now. I've just been in there finishing some bits off, putting like uh, the smart thermostat valves on and stuff like that. The sun's in my eyes. Um, but yeah, what I'm going to do now is just, I'm going to cut to a, a few clips and, and a bit of film of when I first started this job three months ago, I think it was, um, just to give you an idea of what it was like. And I've done a bit of a footage through the various um, stages of the build. So take a look at that. And then what I'll do after that, um, we'll cut to how it is now and I'll show you exactly at what sort of stage right now the bathrooms are done, floors are done. Uh, just take you through a little bit of a walk around before, because they're moving in over the weekend or Monday morning. So just before it becomes their home, just where I can still sort of get in there and, and show you some bits. So take a look now. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button for stuff like this. And uh, what I'll do, I'll also link up in the corner to some of the earlier videos showing you exactly the process we've gone through to get to where we are today. So I hope you like it, take a look. Right, what we've got is, we've got the old kitchen here. So, I'll give you a pre br brief run through. 300 litre mega flows going in here. Boiler on this wall here. We'll take the pipes through the ceiling and across. This big room here is going to be their kitchen, so we have to get out and colds and heating pipes and everything through into here. And then I've got the basement down there. Lads are down there at the minute clearing it out. Radiator is going in each room. They're going to have decorative, decorative rads, so all these boards will come up for the heating pipes to go in. Lunch table. Lovely, lovely big house. And we've formed in what was one of the old bath, uh, one of the old bedrooms. We formed the bathroom that's going here. So it's having the bath, shower in the wall, and everything. And again, radiators in here. The old fireplaces. And then another bathroom in here. Got to get this floor up shortly and get all the old pipe work and everything out. All the tanks are out and everything. And then little inset showers going in there. Again, radiators, towel rails. And then we've got a third floor, top floor. Up here. We've got eating pipes going up here. Radiator going up here, insulating it all out.
Dave's grills has just gone up a level. We've got that, what's this called Dave? Lotus the old Lotus grill out. He's got all the gear, this guy. All the gear? No idea. <laughs> Right, so that's what it was like um, three months ago up until today. So I'll take you in now, I'll take you for a walk around and show you exactly um, where we're at. Right, we'll start off where we did in that video down in the basement. So, right, what we've got down here, what will be, I think Monday these units are going in, but we've got hot and cold fees down into here. So they're going to have like a basement utility sort of thing. But being a basement, we've got the Grunfoss lift pump in the corner. Be a sink here, washing, uh, dishwasher, washing machine. So that's there. We've also got radiator down here. And where are we? Radiator down here. Obviously, all this will, will be coming out because it's still effectively got bits and bobs to do. There's still a few trades here, but I just thought I'd give you a walk around because I'm not here now for a few weeks. So no, what we had originally, so that was the original kitchen in there. So now we've got inside here is boiler. So we've got a Valent 637 Ecotech system boiler running in there, radiator there, and inside here. Got a mega flow, 300 litre mega flow. Um, system all running fine in there, heat tested, pressure tested up. And then what was the old lounge is now the kitchen. So we've got the nice units here. It's an IKEA kitchen, but to be fair, it's not that bad. A lot of people uh, have issues with IKEA kitchens and what, but to be honest, it's bang on. So that's what there. We've got all the pipe work runs down there, comes down in the box in, saw pipe. Got radiator, hallway radiator, and then in the lounge, had all the floors completely re-sanded and sealed. So we've got radiator there, right behind the door. So this is the Tado smart system we've we've put in. Um, so everything is controllable on your on your phone, and they've got um, Tado stats on each valve that's controllable by your phone. So each room is independent. You can have set each room to certain temperatures, which is Spot on. And then we've got up here, we'll go. So this hallway, landing, whatever you want to call it, this is where the main run of the pipes come through. You might have seen it on the video. Your main run comes through here. Mega flow is underneath there. So uh, that's where your main pipe runs are. Radiator in here. Again, all the floors have been done. And right in here, you'll see in the videos of these coming up. Again, I'll, I'll link again up in this, this corner, or this corner, one of the two. I'll link into it to the videos before. So this is what is their main bathroom. So you've got the chrome tower around, they've got bath there, they've got electric shower there. Still, I say extractors are still to go in, but I say majority of it plumbing wise is done. This unit here with the glass top on. Basin's up and running. All that's all right. Toilets, we all know what toilets like when you flush it, standard. And what we've got here is the shower. Now, when we come to fit these shower doors, because these walls are slightly in, the shower door is about 20 mil too wide. So that's been sent off to be cut 20 mil off it 
and because it's uh, tough and glass, it's a two, three week turnaround. So two or three weeks, I'll be back to finish that off. Um, but they've got this bathroom, got this bathroom over here. Spark is haven't put the lights on in here yet. But. So this bathroom's completely up and running, toilet's working, Dave the chippy's got to put the sh uh, showers in later on, sink's working, shower's working. So they can use this, they can basically move in and use that towel rail on there. And radiator in there, as usual. But yeah, this was where we had to put the laser level up to get all that into position. You probably remember it from one of the old videos. And again, nice rod in here under the windows. Again, heating pipe straight through the middle of the room, off the main run that was running through this hallway. And so that one. And then finally, we've got got the upstairs off. Sorry. So we've got a radiator up here, just as a uh, taking the heat out of this entrance, and then. Rad in here. I think this is going to be the customer's office. Um, but as you'd have seen in the video before, these walls are that insulated. It is boiling up here, really, really hot. But uh, yeah, so that's a bit of a walk round of how it is at the minute. Absolutely sweating because it's boiling up here, so I'm going to drop down. I hope that gave you a nice little insight into the complete build the transformation from day one when I got first come in, and you followed a lot of the videos. A lot of you support the channel, subscribe. A lot of people have said along the way, builds coming together, it's doing really well. You know, thanks for sharing the whole project with us. Um, and I've enjoyed doing it. It's been a really stressful job, to be fair. At points, it was really beginning to piss me off. Um, but now it's all come together, looks mega. It's probably one of the one of my favourite jobs I've done for a good while. It's rounded up the, the build basically. I say there's still work to be done, there's still chippies doing bits, paint is doing bits, but from my point of view, it, it now it, this is a job that I was on consistently for a good while and a lot of other jobs I've had to put off, so now I can start getting on with other jobs and this will become a job where I'll just pop in for a day or a couple of days like for, to do that shower screen, swing in if there's any other bits to do, the basement work to do. 
Um, but no, I've really enjoyed it. Um, it's been stressful at times, but um, it's been an enjoyable job. And I hope you've liked the whole process of it coming together. So if you have liked it and enjoyed it, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Um, really appreciate it. Appreciate all the good feedback I get, especially for videos like this. Um, uh, what I'm going to do now is go for a pint. There we go, told you I was coming for a pint. I've even bought the gaffer along. Bought the gaffer, but guess who's paying? Me. So. Money bags. What? Money bags. Yeah, see what I'm up against. Um, right, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Comment below.